Today we're going to take part on New Zealand's biggest sport. And that may come as a surprise to you, it's golf. This morning in the Alexandra Holiday Park, we are mingling with the locals. There is a bunch of quails grazing on the grass right in front of a camper van. It's pretty cool. This quail right here is not native to New Zealand. It was introduced by some settlers in the 1900s. The early settlers to New Zealand also introduced rabbits. They first introduced rabbits for hunting, but they quickly became a pest endangering many of the ecosystem in New Zealand. But they are so cute, who can be mad at them? We then head out to the Courthouse Cafe, which is located in the middle of the Alexandra town in a beautiful heritage building. Look at that. Welcome to Alexandra. <laughs> Once fueled up for the day, we then hit the road to our destination, which is Cromwell. And the road between Alexandra and Cromwell is absolutely stunning as we make our way along the Clutha River, which is lovely with milky blue waters along the Cromwell Gorge. And our activity of today is to do some golfing in Cromwell which might not seem like your classic backpacker activity, but actually golfing is the highest participation sport in New Zealand, so we just have to try it out. And not only that, it's relatively cheap to do as well. Usually golf courses have a green fee of between 10 to 40 bucks, so it's pretty affordable too. Golf-wise, Laura and I have absolutely zero experience. Aside from a few drunken evenings going mini-golfing in uh, cities like Auckland, there is absolutely no way we are able to transfer any of our skills into golfing. And it shows really early on. We are still on hole number one, believe it or not. We haven't even seen the flagpole just yet. And Laura and I are already over 10 shots. It's quite incredible how bad we are. And we actually have to be really polite and let many of the local pass in front of us because, well, we simply don't have the skills and we will be holding them back for hours on. But admittedly, Laura and I don't really mind being so bad at golfing because, well, we get to spend heaps of time outdoors in the beautiful scenery and who can complain about that? Golfing is a great way to spend extended period of time outdoors and still have fun and compete a little bit with your friends. I actually really enjoy it. As per being ranked well, Laura and I are going to be leaving that to other people because there is absolutely no way we will be able to do any good score anywhere. Although our scorecard is actually uh, starting to amount to a quite a huge number, I don't think that's the concept in golf. It's only after about 30 minutes that Laura and I reach the first hole, but we'll blame that on the wind. The wind has been a bit of pain in the ass. it being pretty windy today the Cromwell Golf Club actually receives quite a lot of sunshine hours in this area of New Zealand so it means that the course is actually dry underfoot it's not too squelchy which is pretty ideal it also means that the Cromwell Golf Course is open year-round because it's never usually affected by the weather as we're making our way only to the second hole, we'll make sure to skip through the rest of the holes pretty quickly that we do in this video, or else you'll literally be watching this video for about two days straight. But the Cromwell Golf Course does have 18 holes, uh, but for Robin and I today, we're just gonna be doing nine, which is a good amount, and actually a good amount of time to spend outside in this beautiful environment. As with every guy golfing for the first time, I love driving the golf caddy. It is so much fun and it is definitely my favorite part of the day. That and trying to find my golf ball scattered all around the green. Admittedly, I'm having a really hard time aiming with my club and trying to get the ball to go where I want it to go. So almost every single time I shoot at the ball, I have to figure out where the hell did it end up. But like with everything, practice makes better and as we're progressing through the 9 holes that we are doing today, we are seeing ourselves getting better and better as we are going and our numbers of tries to get into the hole are getting lower and lower. 
When picking up the clubs at the golf clubs, we also got a little bit of an introduction to all the different clubs that we will be using today and also what they are all used for. Each different club has a different purpose and thanks to the explanation that we got early on, we are able to choose the best one for each of the occasions that we are encountering. As we said before, golfing is the highest participation spot in New Zealand with approximately 7 million rounds played per year. And with golf courses like this one, we can definitely see why. And the Cromwell Golf Course is actually considered one of the best inland golf courses in New Zealand. And it's actually the most inland golf course. Cromwell is a town built on the fruit industry. There are heaps of orchards all around the area and especially around this golf course making it look super unique. And as a good tip for any backpackers on a working holiday visa, Cromwell is one of the best places to score a job as a fruit picker. The season here is really long and they really need heaps of workers. And it's after a couple more failing shots that we are running up our golf experience right here in Cromwell. We really had a blast Laura and I and tallying up the score is actually quite a hard task because we went sky high with 22 points scored by each of us on the first hole alone. That's crazy bad. Well. I win. Good game. Good game. Ha <laughs> 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 